airport. I'm not going to the airport. Yeah, you are. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 bluey moments that made us laugh uncontrollably. Hey, Chef! What? What's this special? The what? The special! The what? For this list, we'll be looking at this family show's funniest quotes, bits, characters, and everything in between. Which bluey moment always has you laughing? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Bingo's Movie Theater Behavior Loud! Dark! Okay, now the movie's started. This is boring! <laughs> Bingo! Shh! Going to the movies usually involves buying tickets, getting snacks, and settling in quietly to watch the latest motion picture, right? That may be true for most people, but not the healers. When Bandit takes the girls to the movie theater, things devolve. Bingo, calm it down a bit, mate. Ooh, banana. While the episode is about Bluey accepting herself amid the new experience, it's Bingo who steals the show. From the jump, her energy level is through the roof. Soon she's spilling popcorn, fidgeting, and exploring. But I want to explore! Dad, look, I'm watching! Well done, Bluey! Hey, huh? Hi! Hi! <laughs> what? Hi. Bingo! <laughs> Where's that kid? Hi! Each moment is more unhinged than the last, and every time she giggles, we do too. Let's also not forget her legendary hand dryer stint in the bathroom. Am I just being yourself? Look, it's just monkeys singing songs, mate. Don't think too hard about it. <laughs> oh, bingo. It's all out of control, yet wonderfully innocent, making us grin from ear to ear. Never change, bingo. Number 9. Unicorse and his diet on, up on, uh, Tim. I oh, wish I could read. <laughs> Unicorns, Bluey is finding it a little hard to get to sleep, so we're actually trying to calm things down a bit. Well, it's gonna be hard with Mira! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they say you get one chance to make a first impression. Puppet Unicorns, who's controlled by Bandit, doesn't make a conventionally good one for audiences. But boy, is it memorable. We're first acquainted with him in his eponymous episode, as he throws Chili and Bluey's night into disarray with frantic energy and an unbothered catchphrase. And why should I care? Ugh, I forgot about the catchphrase. If you block the words, Mum can't read the story. And why should I care? The wildest moment of all may be when he's asked about his favorite food. Unicorns, what's your favorite food? Children. Oh. Just kidding. I like chicken bucket. We're not sure what we expected him to say, but it definitely wasn't that. Of course, the left field response and matter of fact tone with which he delivers it make it hard not to crack up. Yeah. Of course. That is bad behavior. Me, 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 me. Oh, so is that. He probably reveals he's just kidding, but we're dead serious when we say he should consider a full time comedy career. Number 8. A Childless Magic Claw. Can we have a coin for the claw thing? Can we have a coin for the claw thing? Huh? Plee, 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 plee. Please! Those who choose to have children often describe parenthood as a great joy and an incredibly fulfilling experience. They'll also tell you it's hard work. Bandit and Chili know all about this, and the father blue healer isn't afraid to poke fun at it while playing with Bluey and Bingo. Ching. Eh, this machine doesn't take imaginary coins. Go and get a job and earn real ones. <laughs> Here, he's acting as a claw machine. You know, the game that's basically impossible to win toys from? He isn't going easy on the girls, prompting Bluey to call her dad out. Dad! This isn't fair! I am not dad. I am Magic Claw. Magic Claw has no children. His days are free and easy. Bandit's reaction is priceless, as he reminds her that he's Magic Claw, not their father, in the most uproarious way imaginable, giving us a glimpse into his character's life. You know this deadpan response made every parent watching burst into a loud guffaw. You lose, you lose, you lose! Great dancer! Magic Claw! Insert more coins. Number 7. Marjorie. You don't understand. She's too far away to hear you. You have to ring her on the phone. 
Ah. Have you ever called the wrong number? If so, we're betting the interaction was perhaps awkward but overall standard, and nothing comical to write home about. But that's because you didn't mistakenly phone Marjorie like Bandit. Whoop. Hello? Oh, I I'm actually after bingo. Well, you have the wrong number. This is Marjorie. Uh, sorry, Marjorie. My mistake. Do not let it happen again. A simple desire to check whether Bingo has brought her jumper as he drives the girls to school leads to what else but a telephone-heavy game. He's trying to get a hold of his youngest, but time and time again, it's Bluey, oops, sorry, Marjorie, he dials. Is this you again? Yeah, look. Stop calling this number! I'm trying to find out if Bingo left a jumper at home. She's not thrilled about the disruption and is vocal about her displeasure, leading to some very lively, very amusing conversations and one heck of a musical performance. La -dee -dee. I'm in the shower. Ooh, la -da -da. You don't live near Bingo, do you? I've never heard of him. No, don't call me again. Boop. We feel for Bandit, but not enough to stop cackling. Bingo, did you bring your jumper? Nope. Biscuits! Okay, kids, we're good to go! <laughs> Number six, Bandit is pregnant. Hmm, how to act pregnant? I'm just gonna get this ready. <clears throat> oh, my bad. Oh, my feet. Rub my feet, Louie. <laughs> Rub my feet. Pregnancy is no joke. It can come with pains, cravings, general discomfort, and much more. To say labor itself is usually no picnic would also be an understatement. So yeah, not a laughing matter. Except when it's Bandit simulating the whole thing, with Bingo playing the baby in his belly. The baby wants Dim Sims. Okay. Mine. Hey. <laughs> I'll try again. Mine. <laughs> He initially thinks it'll be a breeze, which makes it extra funny when he gets a swift helping of reality. Kicking, backaches, hunger. It's all explored as hilariously as you'd expect. It culminates in him acting like he's giving birth. And you can bet Bingo makes him work for it. Is it a Lucky Star, can you give us a hand with something? Yeah, no worries, Bluey. I didn't know this was the something. Hard not, Pat. It's kind of brutal for Bandit, but endlessly diverting for us. Morning, Wendy! Ah! <laughs> You'll never get me out! Number five, imitating Bandit and Chili. One day... Uh, wait on. What's your not-mum name? Chili. Oh, yeah. One day, Chili was walking along, and, um... This was before she was a mum. In the olden days. <laughs> May we interest you in some theater? Our starring actors are Bingo and Bluey in the roles of Chili and Bandit, respectively. They treat us to the most rib-tickling recreation of their parents' love story we could have asked for. We will. I don't remember the queen being there. You wouldn't. Then suddenly this big blue guy called, um... Bandit. Bandit walked in. From a first meeting at a party featuring the Queen to an interesting proposal and beyond, the girls' show is hysterical. Bluey's take on her dad in particular is nothing short of epic, but that's just one example in a sea of them. And then, Bandit asked Chili to marry him on a romance trip to, um... Italy! The dump! <laughs> What? Sure, production hits a snag at one point, but our performers find their way past it to deliver a finale for the ages, with Bandit in his debut as Baby Bluey. She had a baby girl. <laughs> goo goo ga ga. <laughs> How could anyone watch this with a straight face? Number four, takeaway hijinks. Please, can I have a shower in it? Don't even think about it. <gasps> Dad, can you help me? Kids usually know how to have a good time no matter where they are. Can that lead to things flying off the rails? Yes, and Bluey episodes are all the funnier for it. A prime example of this is Takeaway. Can I have this, Dad? I need to write Tapfield's order down. When what should be a quick trip to the restaurant for a pickup turns lengthy, the girls let loose and make the best of it. Soon it's pandemonium and we bust a gut. Dad? Yeah, mate? Is everything in the whole world made of atoms? Uh, yeah, I think so. I can't turn it off! Bluey! Bluey loses control of the tap she's been invested in, 
crows start eating the food that's spilled, and Bingo, well, Bingo is relieving herself throughout all this. And unfortunately for Bandit, it's taking a while. Dad? Yes, mate? If grown-ups grow from babies, and only grown-ups have babies, who had the first baby? It's hectic, disorderly, and absolutely riotous. Number three, the grannies. Oh, no. Here come my grannies! This episode of Bluey is called cool. I Forget. Brace yourself, things are about to get even more entertaining. That's because it's time to give some love to the grandmother alter egos on Bluey. Actually, I can't read. Uh, passengers should only ding the bell if they intend to get off. Is that clear? Tell him you love him! Bluey and Bingo bring these personas to life on a few occasions, and no words could do Janet and Rita justice. In Grannies, napping, stealthily trying to grab beans, driving in questionable fashion, and flossing are a few of the farcical activities they engage in. Just having a nana nap, love. I couldn't find any bright beans. What have you got there? Oh, nothing, dear. There's also plenty more good times where that came from, as the girls notably bring the characters back in bus, playful as ever. Even Muffin gets in on the fun alongside them in Granny Mobile. Hello, Gladys. Ugh, I'm selling the Granny Mobile. Are you gonna buy it? Ow. Well, make up your mind. <laughs> if Bluey Grannies are around in all their zany glory, nobody watching will be stone faced for long. Number two, Muffin's antics. I want to do what I want! You know those people who just exude a frenzied, captivating energy in the best way? That's how we would describe Muffin. This pup takes no prisoners, and she has us splitting our sides practically every time she shows up on screen. Whether she's driving her toy car, relishing being special, or running away from her dad, our girl loves to cause chaos, and we love watching her do it. <laughs> Don't even get us started on the hijinks that unfold when she's sleep deprived. Seriously, our stomachs hurt from all the laughter, and we wouldn't have it any other way. Coconuts have water in them. We dare you to get through a muffin heavy episode without losing your composure. It's simply not possible. She's too iconic. No mind in the car. We're ready, Muffin, but just don't drive too fast. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hecuba's demise. The garden gnome pays a heavy price, but Chili's reaction is too good. I'm sorry. This is what happens when you're unhappy with what you've got. Someone's husband eventually gets it. A special wedding. We're speechless. You may now say some things. Uh, I'm not marrying him. He stinks. <laughs> My heart is breaking. I said horses can't talk! The questions. You know what they say about kids having no filter. Why don't you have a wife? Well, well how do you know I don't? Do you have a wife? Well, no. So why don't you have a wife? Uh, her turn. How many friends have you got? Oh, um, three? That's not many. Goodbye to the good boss. Chili's not thrilled about this, but we can't deny it's hilarious. Is that all right, Dad? Go up, Wally! Oh, nothing. We can edit that bit out, right? Anytime Bingo says, babe, it's priceless. Oh, husband, thank you so much for taking me to the ballet show. No worries, babe. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Bandit's Many Characters Well, a discotheque! If you're ever feeling down, all you need to do is enlist Bandit's help. He's always willing to release his inhibitions and become whoever while playing, and the hilarity his characters bring to the show is unmatched. His distinct French chef, for one, has us chortling. Bonjour, Pavlova. Hey, this isn't Pavlova. Yeah, this isn't Pavlova. Je suis la chienne. These are Edmadami beans. 
and his willingness to go along on a painful journey as a hospital patient is a comedic sight to behold. There's no need to be nervous. Hello! <laughs> I'm the doctor. Oh, hello, doctor. My name is... Sing. Ouch! We'd also be remiss not to mention how much of a hoot he is while pretending to be sheepdog, or talking about bumworms. Have you ever been sick? Sick? Oh, uh, well, yes. I've got bumworms. The results leave us weak in the knees in stitches every time, without fail. No matter who he's embodying, Bandit's unwavering commitment and fantastic sense of humor means there's never a dull moment. Ah, what are you doing? You don't put tomato sauce on pavlova? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.